Hey guys, Mike Locke here. I'm going to show you how to add some texture and noise to your background graphics. Um, I actually got an email about this and uh, I thought it would make a cool video because I actually was asking the same questions a while back and had to figure this out. But if you go to um, this site called Vecteezy and uh, you go to the footer here, you'll see the background. This is a popular background texture that a lot of graphic designers use. And what this is called, it's called noise, adding noise to your background. So uh, you can see it here in the footer. You can actually go to my website, mlwebco.com, and look at my name. You can, you know, if you zoom in, you can kind of see the texture in my name. Also, in this little banner here, this little billboard section here that I have, uh, you can see the texture there. Okay. You can go to addthis.com. You can notice it on their background very slightly in gray. Um, also, on a popular site called Dribble, if you look at the very top in this little blue bar, you'll see the texture that goes from top to bottom, or a little gradient there. But you'll see the texture, and this texture is highly used across, you know, in the web design field uh, among many web designers. So basically to to get this texture it's called adding noise to your graphics or to your object so in this case let's open up in, in Photoshop I just have a, a canvas and I'm just gonna apply a color to my background uh, so it works best if you have dark colors so it doesn't work really good on light color so make sure you have a dark color either you know something like this a brown a black a, a dark gray uh, or so, some sort of any color you want but make sure it's on the darker scale alright so you know you have your object or you have your color here all you gotta do in Photoshop just go to filter and go to noise and then you're, what you can do is click add noise and then right off the bat you'll see the amount there and you can kinda play with that so the higher you get the more noticeable it is but so what you wanna do in the percentage field the, the percentage field you just wanna go down to like four or three alright and then you'll notice that you get that effect so basically the, mo the, the, the more subtle you are the better it will be and it'll be a, a really nice effect on your on your website so if you kinda go up to like number seven seven percent you'll start to see the the um, you know the the details so you don't really want to see the, de the details so you wanna keep it to around three to four percent all right, you hit OK, and that's pretty much it. Uh, in Photoshop or in Fireworks, you can do the same thing. Um, I use Photoshop uh, Fireworks a lot. So let's say you add a um, a graphic or a bar. Let's let's do a color here. Let's do a gradient. Let's make this box a gradient. Let's do a dark gray, which is the three 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 to a black okay so we have a nice we have a nice subtle subtle gradient alright what you do is select your object then you just do filter and then you hit noise and just do add noise and what it's gonna do is gonna ask you that you have to turn this vector object into a bitmap and just say okay and there you have it same thing you get this little box with the amount of noise you want to add the higher you get the more no the more noticeable it is so you want to keep it to around four or three in this amount field alrighty and you can also preview it right there you hit OK and you're done then if you want you can add some text you add some text to your texture and it sort of brings it out some text like that <laughs> anyway that's all I got so hopefully this was helpful you can use this throughout your designs and um, you know start using it it's a good effect everyone uses it so go ahead and use it and have some fun with it we'll talk soon alright bye